that US President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, was criminally indicted today on three criminal counts related to his possession of a firearm. The charges were filed in a US district uh, court in Delaware, a deal that would have seen Hunter Biden given probation in return for guilty pleas on separate charges collapsed back in July. Let's go live to our correspondent, Sean Dilley, who's in Washington. Hi, Sean, what do we know? Well, these are incredibly serious charges. Uh, jail terms potentially up to 25 years. It's quite unlikely that that would be uh, something that would be reflected in reality. But this all relates to a period of time uh, on the 18th of October, uh, back in 2018, and indeed the 23rd of October. The reason we have the uh, date range is that the first two counts relate uh, to what the prosecution say was Hunter Biden making false statements that he knew uh, to be false. They alleged that he said that he was not the user of narcotics or addicted to drugs at a time when he filled out an official form uh, that said he was. Uh, the other charge relates to actually possessing that firearm. It was shipped through interstate uh, delivery and he physically had possession again uh, as somebody who was addicted. They allege and they claim uh, to drugs and narcotics at that time. Uh, now, this is one headache that Hunter Biden, the son of US President Joe Biden, had hoped would have gone away, as you've referred to back at the end of July, on the 26th of July. Uh, the case in court uh, collapsed uh, plea deal that would have seen uh, Joe Biden's son, Hunter, admitting to two tax cheating uh, charges, not paying tax essentially uh, on $1.5 million of income in 2017 and 2018. Uh, when he was asked about the plea deal in court, this is quite a standard thing that happens in court. If somebody wants to take a plea deal, the judge has to check that they're not under the influence of anything at the time. They have to check that they're knowingly entering into this and what they understand the terms of that agreement to be. One of the key stumbling blocks was that uh, Mr. Biden's legal team said that he wouldn't have been pleading uh, guilty to the tax cheat charges uh, if it wasn't for the fact that he was promised a deal by prosecutors that eventually the firearms charge would be dismissed, not completely and totally, but he'd escape a felony conviction because he'd enter what the US court system calls a, a diversion agreement, where essentially he would admit the charge, go under uh, various terms of whether that be probation or uh, counselling services, whatever the court had decided to set ultimately, and that, that case would eventually be dismissed. But the problem in the tax cheating case was this. They were unrelated cases. It wasn't a question that the judge was being asked to sentence based upon uh, the diversion agreement that I've just set out there. She was being asked to deal with him on the tax cheating charges only. After that case collapsed, there was a period of negotiation between Hunter Biden's lawyers and the prosecution, the, the uh, chief prosecutor in that case, David Weiss, who signed this uh, indictment. Uh, it's been endorsed, the bill, by the group of citizens called a grand jury. And now Hunter Biden will be facing these very serious charges uh, at the uh, court in Delaware. Sean, thank you so much for bringing us that breaking news there out of the US.